Alrighty, so once the circuit is built, we can demo it. Um, it's not very complicated. We just have our stepper motor with our stepper driver right here, and then our Arduino, and our accelerometer in gyro. It's a little combo unit here, but that is mainly the brains of this, just so we can check the orientation of the blind, if it's either opened or closed. And we also have four buttons to override it. And right here is our light detector, is our little, just a little photo cell, competitor circuit, really. Um, so by default, I have the state set to 1, meaning that if it's on normal state, then it will just check if the blind is, if it's dark or light outside, if it's dark, then it will close the blinds, if it's light, it'll open it. So if we plug it in, then it'll automatically do what it needs to do. Right now, the blind is closed and it detects that there's light, so it's trying to open it, going into the open position. So if we just pretend that our blind goes to open, try to get this in one shot, so if we open it, our blind up, it'll stop, meaning that our blind is open because it's in the open position. Now, if I were to cover that little sensor, see, automatically it detects that it's dark, and I'll try to close it. It goes in the opposite direction. Now, if our blind, let's just say, closes, then our blind stops because it automatically closes. That what is what the little dry gyro accelerometer uh, chip is doing right there. Now, we can override this if we want to by pressing the stop button and it sets it sets a little LED also indicator right here that it's in uh, zero state or off state and we can override with these other two buttons for open or close. Now if it's let's just say right now it's closed if we try to open it then it won't do anything. It'll just run it with the code once since the blind's already closed but if we want to click the manual open button then it will run the code until uh, the blind is open until I let go of the button of course. And that's pretty much it. The circuit isn't really that complicated. Now, if you do plan to do this project, you need a couple inexpensive parts. A push button, I use four of them just for the controls. A photo cell to detect light. A 10K resistor for the photo cell. And the main motor is a stepper motor with a driver. The stronger the better. And a three axis accelerometer, so we know where the blind's position is. Now the total sets you back about 5-6 bucks, maybe even less if you have all the parts. Now with the pair of pliers, I actually just shaped this old key ring into this kind of G shape to use as a little spinner. And then I drilled a hole using a 1 16th bit into the stepper. Then I took out the old hand spindle and replaced it with my stepper motor spindle. And then as janky as it might seem, I just used some Lego hot and some hot glue and then just screw the stepper motor right into the Lego and um, it's enough to hold it in place. And as you can see it actually does work. I did have to speed up the footage a bit because it is fairly slow. But it does, the end result does work. Okay so if you do plan to download this and actually do use and modify the code, go ahead and do so. Um, a couple things you want to take a look at is what the uh, all the pins are set to. So your button pins, uh, your LED, leave that uh, as the regular one if you want to, unless you want to change it. The photo cell pins, the, all the analog stuff, the motor, and the stepper delay. Um, but what you're mainly going to look for is these uh, values right here. Um, when you do want to modify them, you would have to just enable the serial monitor and uh, check the values for them and modify it to ones you want to change it to. So. Um, when it's bright outside, if that value is actually different for you, you want to change it, you can change it uh, to ones that are monitored in the serial monitor. Same with the dark values once it gets dark. Um, and the positioning of when the blind is open and closed. Those are some things that you just want to look over. And that's mainly all it. The code mainly is nothing that we really want to change. These are just uh, serial stuff, so if you take those uh, comments out and run the serial command uh, and the serial monitor, then you'll see all the values from it. Alright, so if you guys enjoyed that little project, then please uh, comment down below. Uh, if you liked the video, then click like. And if you're not subscribed, then subscribe already. Also, I'll be linking the uh, Arduino file down below in the description. So if you do make it, please comment down below.